So two new ships inbound, we have the Federation and the Klingon already in the game, but now we're going to get the Jemadar and the Romulan version of these ships. Channel subscription is also available on my awesome channel. If you want to support the content that I'm making and me personally, this is how you can do this. So to be to be honest with you, the statistics for these ships have been already... Um, you know, have been already posted from our ambassador, Kale, community manager, and I just didn't have enough time to get around to it. But uh, we're definitely going to take a closer look at the statistics and see when these ships are actually going to come um, in the in the server already. So let me open up my internet and then I'll be right back. All right, so this is the the blog post that our community manager uh, Ambassador Kale has posted. So we're going to get two new recon ships. Uh, so you can actually see the Jem'Hadar version and the Romulan version and it says right here beginning December 18 two new recon destroyers have, um, are being made available in the sea store on the PC. Uh, these vessels in the Dominion and uh, Romulan ship lineage has been inspired by the Federation Lafayette class and the Klingon Ketha Recon Raptor. Uh, they feature many of the technology advances seen there, combined with the new, with the unique uh, shipbuilding advantage employed by the Dominion and the Romulans, respectively. These ships have been available, are uh, will be available for both non-fleet and fleet variant. So that's interesting. Um, as you guys know, the fleet are a little bit better in statistics uh, than the non-fleet variant. So that's definitely an improvement right there. Uh, special introductory uh, pricing discount. Okay, so from December 18th all the way to December 22, uh, you can get these ships for 2,400 Zen when purchased individually or at a bundle with either the Federation and Klingon or the Dominion and Romulan ships for only 3,200 Zen or a bundle of all four of them for 5,600 Zen. Thereafter, they will return to their normal pricing of 3,000 Zen individually and 4,000 for either two ship bundle or 7,000 for the four ship bundle. Now, what they actually mean is two of these ships we already have in the game. Uh, like I already mentioned when you guys open this video. Um, these are basically, let me do, click on this one. These are basically the ships that we already have in the game. So this is the Federation one and this is the Romulan version. Kind of looks like a, a tuning fork. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are into music or anything like that, but it kind of looks like, you know, those tuning forks that people uh, use to tune like pianos and stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, let's get back to here. Uh, so fleet versions of the Starship will unlock upon completing your fleet Starbase Tier 4 shipyard. The standard fleet module discount applies if you have uh, if you have purchased the ships from the sea store. Uh, without further ado, here are the statistics of the exciting new Starship. So we're getting the Gemadar version first. So this is the Jemadar Vanguard Recon Destroyer, that's what they're called. In these trying times, uh, constant conflict and ever-present hostility have made exploration and reconnaissance at the edge of the frontier even more dangerous endeavors than normal. What? What kind of explorations are we talking about and reconnaissance? What? <laughs> what are you guys talking about here? Uh, there is no exploring in SCO. It's that's been like ancient history. <laughs> Reconnaissance. We just go there and blow stuff up. There's no, you know, sensor scan. It's like that is like a foreign uh, word to to SCO terminology. That does not exist anymore in the game. Um, the Jemadar Vanguard Recon Destroyer has been this. Uh, designed in response to galactic atmosphere, providing a distant combat focus on a ship that otherwise uh, dedicated to scientific study and intelligent gathering. Yeah, no. These things are just, you know, put a couple of weapons up there and destroy enemy without actually talking to them. <laughs> How very Starfleet of us. <laughs> uh... Vanguard ships uh, come introduced by two loyal Jemadar 
ace pilots. Uh, these are basically the two Gemadar that are um, always information with you if you're flying the Gemadar version. Uh, of any basically any ships uh, these well I shouldn't say any ships because there are like previous Gemadar like the tier 5 uh, they don't have these pilot wings or these escort uh, pilot ships uh, anyway these expert pilots fly on their own Gemadar Vanguard radar information with you never staying a straying far from your sight uh, their uh, their expensive expertise the ex Extensive expertise in team-based tactics allow them to execute powerful maneuvers at your command. In case of catastrophic ship failure, they will return back to operation uh, shortly and automatically after a brief lockout. So there is a little bit of cooldown whenever they are getting destroyed. Uh, so these are basically the statistics are the same just slightly different uh, between them obviously the um the romulan version is going to get just a little bit of tweaking than the normal stuff uh so these are available at tier six for any faction with a hull strength of 0 0.75 with a shield modifier 1.25 very nice uh four weapons on the front one on the aft three devices console modification we got four tactical two engineering and four science very nice a base turn rate of 14 degrees per second with an impulse modifier of 0 0.18 inertia 60 plus 10 to weapon power and also plus 10 to auxiliary you can also load dual cannons these are definitely ships that you can uh, or at least that you must load dual cannons or dual heavy cannons or dual beam banks everything that has like a very small uh, targeting arc it's basically going to deal a lot more damage because these things are definitely highly maneuverable you can see that right here with a base turn rate of 14 degrees per second so this is going to make you know flying and turning uh towards your enemies really really quickly just you know just just saying out there this also comes equipped with a experimental weapon slot giving you a total of eight weapon uh, slots that you can put up uh, the experimental weapon slot is normally at 360 degree targeting arc, but we're going to get to that later on in the statistics. Uh, we have a console, a hyper focus trinary array. Let me see how I pronounce that. Trinary. Trinary array, okay. Uh, Vanguard Wing Wing, that's the uh, formation to Gemadar that are basically going to fly al al along you. Uh, Starship Ability Package Destroyer, so Precise Weapon System, Enhanced Weapon Banks, Devastating Weaponry, Enhanced System, uh, Enhanced Weapon System, and a Jubilant uh, cad uh -huh. Cadence. Jubilant Cadence, Starship Trait. Alright, alright, alright. Now, we are going here to this uh, Romulan version. I have no idea how to pronounce this. Rahe. Rahe, <laughs> okay, Rahe, uh, Recon uh, Warbird, uh, the Romulan, Re let me highlight this, the Romulan, no, uh, the Romulan Republic lacking the resource in an industrial muscle of the Federation and the Klingon Empire is often challenged to maintain a fine balance between innovating and a comedy um, necessity. When it comes to the design of the new starship, unfortunately, the engineers of the Republic are up to the task. The Rehia Recon Warbird is their latest, latest triumph in that area. This new vessel brings potent scientific and intelligent gathering uh, tech to the Republic fleet. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there is no intelligent gathering or scientific <laughs> potency uh, in the no just kill your enemies as fast as you can that's that's what sdo is all about these days it's all about yeah uh warbirds are powered by a singularity core unlike other starships this unique form of propulsion grants extra ability compared to warp cores but comes at a cost of lower overall power levels of the starship if you compare it to the federation klingons and uh, the uh the Geminar. Like most uh, warbirds, the Sashi comes with an innate Romulan battle cloaking. Ah, nice. Allowing the starship to stealth even during combat. Very nice. Uh, the starship features a Lieutenant Commander Universal, Intelligent Bridge Officer seating. Okay, so we're definitely getting our intelligence up here. 
Um, so basically the same statistics, only the whole strength modifier is a little bit higher right here, 0 0.9 in comparison to 0 0.75. Uh, when, it term, when it comes to shield modifier 1.2 versus 1.25, um, when it comes to console layout and bridge officer station seating, everything, everything is the same. Uh, base turn rate, I believe it was 16. No, it is 14. So they are definitely the same. Impulse modifier, the same. Weapon and auxiliary. Yep, weapon and auxiliary. So everything is the same. Uh, but this thing comes with a Romulan battle cloak. And also the same universal console. Uh, so Romulan battle cloak, that's basically a cloak, even if you are at red alert or in, are in combat. So you can basically cloak out of there. I wouldn't recommend it because whenever I do like, you know, the cloaking ability when I'm in combat, there is always that torpedo that comes in like, you know, at the same time when I'm cloaking. So it definitely bypasses the shield. So lowering your uh, health uh, your whole health at definitely insane amount. Uh, singularity warp core, so uh, you're going to get a couple of abilities right there when that gauge actually fills up. You guys know what I'm talking about. And basically the destroyer package, so everything is the same. Um, so we do have this universal console, the hyper focusing trinary arrays. Uh, this technology was originally received as the hyper-accurate lo uh, long-range scanning device. That's a mouthful. Capable of uh, deselecting quantum dissect dissecting sorry dissecting quantum data from distance previously unheard of. However, once prototype began, it quickly be it quickly become became uh, evident that this trinary emitter array. A uh, trinary emitter beam used to scan and receive such data caused irreparable damage to the matter caught in the crossfire. An issue further confounded by the fact that without the targeting parameters designed for precise weaponry, this system takes several seconds to focus on its intended target. With these compo uh, compounded issues suffered, the scanner suffered in the scanner functionality of the device being abandoned. This easy weaponized emitter found a new home in its Starship defense project. Uh, this console also provides a passive boost to shield hardness and shield penetration skill. This console can be equipped with any Starship, any slot, but only one of these at any given time. So here we go, Starship trait. While this trait is active, defeating enemy or healing allies will grant you one stack of the jubilate jubilee jubil of jubilant cadence jubilant cadence or uh, and a maximum of once for four seconds which lasts until you leave combat or are defeated what nice which will last until you leave combat or are defeated nice that's that's insane let's see what it does though uh, after reaching 5 stack, you and your teammates will receive a large boost to speed and turn rate. Ah oh, man. Uh, while also having a bridge officer ability recharge time redu uh, reduced. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's nice! Bridge officer uh, cooldown reduction, uh, turning speed, and also flight speed. Nice! Overall good, and this thing is definitely going to be active whenever you are defeated enemy or heal allies. We'll grant you a stack of these things. Ooh, I like it. Uh, so the fleet variant right here, you can buy these things with uh, the fleet modules. Um, so fleet variants of the ship will unlock upon completing your Starfleet Tier 4 shipyard. The standard fleet module discount applies. Uh, this starship may be purchased for five sleep, uh, sorry, five uh, fleet ship modules and two thousand fleet credits, uh, and one uh, fleet ship provision. Normally, the provisions are just you know from your uh, starbase uh, that basically don't cost you anything, but you have to put resources into the uh, fleet project to get them. Uh, but will be discounted for one fleet ship module, twenty thousand fleet credits, and one if you have uh, the corresponding. Uh, sea store ship purchased already. Um, so there are two ways of getting them either pay five fleet ship modules or one ship module if you already 
but the Zen version of this thing. Uh, let's see what it actually changes. You're going to get a little bit more home, a little bit more in shield modifier 1.375. So that's a lot. And I definitely, if you're going to be flying this thing um, with the, if this is going to be like your main ship that you're going to fly it, I definitely recommend grabbing the fleet variant. You're definitely going to get more out of your buck for this thing. So all of the statistics are a little bit, I believe, 10% better. So it's definitely worthwhile. Uh, for weapons, the weapon slots is going to be the same, but you're going to get an extra tactical console slot. Ooh, wow, these things are definitely going to bring up the heat on a lot of uh, a lot of TFOs that we normally do. Uh, base turn rate is the same, impulse modifier is the same, everything is the same. Uh, so you're going to get a tactical console slot and 10% in hull strength and shield uh, strength as well, or the shield modifier statistics. Very, very nice. I like them. I like them. Uh, let's see, the uh, Romulan also is going to get a, a tactical console slot. Now do keep in mind that if you, there is an option to level the fleet variant to a tier, to the fleet tier 6 X version, giving you one an additional universal console slot, giving you 12 console slot in total. Insane with four weapons in the front, three weapons on the aft, and an ex, uh, an extra uh, experimental weapon slot. That's just insane right there. Wow, that is. These things are definitely awesome. Uh, in addition to the new destroyers, we've also remastered our Starfleet New Orleans class recon destroyer with the new Galaxy type material and geomet and the geometry that made its debut with the legendary bundle. The New Orleans and the Lafayette variants also have access to the Galaxy Interpret Defiant Sovereign NX, NX Refit Type 0, Type 8 material types. Uh, these remasters are free for everybody who already owns the Starfleet Recon Destroyer, the yada yada yada, New Orleans. Okay, so we're also getting, you know, for people that have bought these things, me, uh, we're also gonna get a little bit like more um, material types. Yay! For material types. Huh, yeah, um, I'm liking them. I'm liking them definitely. Uh, 12 console slots, four weapons on the front, four, three on the aft, and an experimental uh, weapon slot that actually that we don't actually know how it's going to fire. I'm guessing these, these beams up here, that's how it's going to fire. Uh, but I kind of want to see this thing in action already. Unfortunately, we have to wait until 18th of December. So that's basically like time of this recording. Five days, four days, depending on when it goes live. Um, but I am definitely looking forward to these things. And like they said, these are definitely on a discount. So I just have to buy the Gemidar version and the Romulan version for, you know, speaking for myself. So that's about 3,200 Zen. Um, or you can grab all four of these ships if you haven't gotten them uh, for 5,600 during the whole discounted area, uh, discounted um, uh, discount period that they are giving us. Or you can buy all four of them for 7,000. Now, I personally, I love the way that they're moving, that they're moving forward with these pricing. These pricing are definitely um i'm okay with 7000 zen for four new ships that's that's the way that these ships should be uh priced at uh roughly around 2000 zen is okay for you know a, a sea store ship 3000 if it's like one of these things i will you know buy that as well uh but if they go like 6000 for one particular ship that's just bonkers but the, the pricing for these ships is definitely okay. 3,200 for two new ships. Oh yeah, I'm definitely on that. Anyway, I'm looking forward to actually grabbing my hands on these, uh, grabbing them, putting them in my, uh, <laughs> in my fleet of ships that I fly. Um, they kind of look badass, to be honest. Especially the Romulan one. The Klingon one is just like a tuning fork. I really don't like the, the, the nose of it. 
And the Federation is just like, you know, just standard Federation design. So you got like the saucer section, nothing real interesting. But I kind of like the, uh, I kind of like the Jemadar and the, the Romulan as well. Kind of like pointy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys had a little bit of fun and information coming out of it. Uh, as always, love to see you guys on the next video. Later!